please welcome an Institute board member, Oliver B. Quinn. Oliver is a distinguished attorney, organizational ethics expert, and former judge and deputy solicitor of the U.S. Department of Labor. Thank you. Good evening. I'm honored to have this opportunity to introduce our Lifetime Leadership Awardee, Wade Henderson. Wow, I can actually say Wade's name without applause. That's, <laughs> that's impressive. For over 20 years, until retiring last year, Wade was the president and CEO of the Leadership Conference for Civil and Human Rights. During his illustrious career, he also held significant positions with the NAACP and the ACLU and was a professor of public interest law. Wade began his career as the first full-time director of the renowned minority student program at Rutgers Law School here in Newark. I first met Wade when we were law students at Rutgers. I was several years behind him for the record. <laughs> Wade Henderson has been a friend, colleague, mentor and advisor to me and to many others. When I first joined the board here at the Institute, I immediately got a call from Wade asking, how can I help? And when we brought Ryan Haygood on as our CEO, Wade called to congratulate us and tell us what a wonderful choice we had made. And he was correct. Wade has been supportive of Ryan throughout his tenure with us and has often acknowledged the value of the New Jersey Institute for Social Justice as an outside of the beltway, state-based entity. Wade Henderson is one of those people who would have succeeded at whatever he chose to do. He is a shrewd legal and policy analyst and strategist. And as you will hear when I get out of the way up here, an eloquent and engaging speaker. Wade chose the pursuit of civil and human rights as his life's work, and his skills and talents combined to make him a preeminent spokesperson and advocate for social justice across the country and internationally. The great Jamaican musician and cultural icon, Bob Marley, described the greatness of a man as being not his wealth, but his integrity and his ability to affect those around him positively. By that measure, Wade Henderson has truly achieved greatness. His impact on the movement for social justice is deep and wide and will endure. I'm pleased to present our Lifetime Leadership Award recipient, Wade Henderson. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Friends and colleagues, all. Uh, it's great to be with you tonight and to be in this room of extraordinary people. Uh, I have to say, uh, it's just wonderful being here and absorbing the energy uh, in this room in support of the New Jersey Institute of Social Justice. It's incredible. Uh, to my dear friend, Oliver Quinn, thanks for that somewhat gracious introduction. Uh, it was a little toast, a little roast. I'm glad you didn't take it too far, but I appreciate this. And I want to start by thanking the incomparable Ryan Haygood. And really, Ryan. The incomparable Ryan Haygood and this incredible board of directors and the extraordinary staff of the New Jersey Institute of Social Justice. What a powerhouse institution you all have created here in New Jersey. Uh, I want to acknowledge my fellow honorees this evening uh, for their outstanding accomplishments and for the privilege of joining them in tonight's celebration. David and I were classmates. It's, it's great, David, to see you here. Leisha, Eve, Alicia, I love you, and you have done such an extraordinary job in your career, and I look forward to supporting your candidacy for the Attorney General position. I think it's just wonderful that you're, that you're doing that. That you're doing that. And 
really, I mean, I have to say to Loretta Lynch, boy, what a privilege it is to see you again, to have worked in support of your nomination, and to have seen you do so much as the Attorney General of the United States. It is just incredible to see you again, and, and thank you so much for, for all that, that you have done. And really, to the entire uh, Lowenstein Sandler, I mean, I, I went to school here at Rutgers. I know what a tremendous firm Lowenstein has been in the state of New Jersey and all the contributions that you've made. It's really just incredible to see the chairman of the firm be acknowledged tonight. I think it's really uh, great. Uh, now, when I spoke to Ryan yesterday, I told him that these dinners should end on the same night they begin. <laughs> and <laughs> just being honest, and so to the surprise of many, I will be uncharacteristically brief in, in my remarks. Uh, I'm sure that it comes as really no surprise to many of you, uh, but we are living through extraordinarily difficult times, uh, both internationally and domestically. As a nation, we have alienated our closest allies. We've emboldened adversaries long standing. And we have upended the established world order. And that's just in the last year. So we'll have to see what the next three or four holds for us. Here at home, we have twisted the MAGA catchphrase and turned it into make America white again. Uh, with a president who turns his back on all that makes America great. And with venerable institutions like the Justice Department implementing a pre-Brown vision of matters of race and the Department of Homeland Security working rapidly to dehumanize Latino refugees at our southern border by heartlessly stripping uh, children from their parents. In the midst of this degradation of American values, thank God for the New Jersey Institute of Social Justice. This, really, they deserve it, guys. Give it up, give it up. Uh, this small but powerful organization, through its extraordinary advocacy and litigation, fights every day to help build an America as good as its ideals. I'm deeply honored by this Lifetime Achievement Award tonight. I accept it in the name of the great civil and human rights coalition, which the Institute of which the Institute is a premier member. Uh, and I wanna thank all of you for all the work that you do and for really recommitting yourselves to the work of this great organization and to bringing together the resources of this great community in New Jersey. As I look at this audience, I'm struck by its diversity. I'm struck by the depth of the commitment. You know, Paulette Brown, a dear friend, former president of the American Bar Association is one of your newest board members. You, you've got Paul Fishman, who is Paul? a colleague that I've known for a long time as a U.S. attorney here in, hey, there you are, Paul, a U.S. attorney here in New Jersey. I mean, this is a powerhouse institution. And I look back, I see Ken Zimmerman here, the first director of the New Jersey Institute of Social Justice. I, Ken, I, I know what it took to bring this organization together. Jim Johnson, who used to head ATF, I mean, this is an extraordinary crowd. And to bring them all together because of the great work of this organization deserves really extraordinary recognition. So I will take my leave, but I want you to know I do so with the great honor of having received what for me is not just a Lifetime Achievement Award, but arguably one of the greatest honors I've ever received. So it's a great privilege to be here tonight, and thank you guys so much. <laughs>